Hello and welcome to my Mystery Rehash YouTube channel. Today I'm going to explain storyline of in Marvel's film called Thor, Love and Thunder. It is a 2022 superhero film based on the Marvel comic superhero of the same name. Before starting our video, if you didn't subscribe to my YouTube channel, give it a hit and press the bell icon to get updated with my channel. So, let's start our mystery rehash video. Gore, the last of his people, spends his days striving to survive on a barren desert with his daughter Love. He prays to his god Rapu for help, but Love soon dies of starvation. Just as he begins to hear a voice calling out to him in the distance, Gore discovers an oasis where he finds Rapu who had killed the latest wielder of an ancient weapon known as All Black the Necrosword. Rapu makes fun of Gore for his helplessness and refuses to provide any assistance. Feeling betrayed, Gore claims the Necrosword and beheads him and vows for the elimination of all gods. Thor continues his adventures with the Guardians of the Galaxy, responding to distress calls across the universe while working to get back in shape. However, Thor remains discontent with where he is in life and intends to retire. An influx of distress calls regarding Gore emerge, one of them being from Sif, who had hunted him down. Thor and Korg respond to Sif's call, parting ways with the Guardians who leave to respond to the others. They find a defeated Sif with her arm severed, who warns them that Gore will attack New Asgard next. Meanwhile, Dr. Jane Foster undergoes treatment for stage Roman IV cancer. Efforts to research for a cure prove futile, and she begins to lose hope, but Foster becomes inspired to travel to New Asgard in hopes that their magic can help eliminate the cancer. As Thor has unknowingly enchanted it to protect Foster while they were together, and Jolnir becomes drawn to her presence, fusing itself back together and imbuing her with the powers of the mighty Thor. That night, Thor uses the Necrosaur to swarm New Asgard with shadow monsters. Thor, Korg, and Sif arrive to confront them, as does King Valkyrie and Foster, who Thor is surprised to see. While they were able to repel the monsters, Thor escapes with Asgard's children, including Heimdall's son Axel. Thor communicates with Axel and deduces that the children are in the Shadow Realm. Knowing that Gore's strength would be at its peak there, Thor, Foster, Valkyrie, and Kord travel to Omnipotent City to warn Zeus of Gore and ask for an army to help fight him. Unconvinced that Gore is a threat to Omnipotent City, Zeus instead has Thor captured, forcing the others to intervene and fend off Zeus' men. In the scuffle, Zeus uses his thunderbolt to destroy Korg's body, only his face remains intact, although this is enough for him to survive. Enraged, Thor uses the thunderbolt to impale Zeus in the chest, which Valkyrie steals as the group escapes to confront Gore in the Shadow Realm. On the way, Thor learns of Foster's cancer diagnosis, and the two rekindle their relationship. Upon arrival, they attempt to locate the children, only to realize that they had fallen for a trap. Gore intended to take Stormbreaker in order to utilize the Bifrost Bridge to access Eternity, where he can wish for the extinction of the gods. They battle Gore and his shadow monsters once more, but are forced to flee back to New Asgard once Valkyrie and Foster are weakened. Before Stormbreaker can be transported across the Bifrost, Gore steals it. Thor is informed that the effects of M. Jolnir are aggravating Foster's cancer, and he urges her to stay behind to recover. Valkyrie is also unable to continue fighting, leaving the Thunderbolt in Thor's possession so that he can fight Gore again. At the center of the universe, Gore begins opening Eternity's Gate with Stormbreaker. Thor arrives and imbues the children with the power of Thor, giving them enough strength to overcome the remaining shadow monsters. Gore gains the upper hand against Thor. 
Having sensed his distress, Foster decides to wield M. Jolnir again despite her weakened condition and join the fight. Thor gives Foster ample time to use M. Jolnir to shatter the Necrosword into pieces, although she soon collapses. Thor recovers Stormbreaker and has the children use it to return home, but they could not stop Gore from entering Eternity. Thor calls out to Gore and pleads for him to choose love over death as he rushes to Foster's side. Their love reminded him of the love he had for his daughter, thus deciding to use his wish to resurrect love. Foster soon succumbs to the cancer, vanishing into Valhalla. Thor accepts Gore's request to take custody of love before he dies from the Necrosword's curse. In the aftermath, a statue of Foster as the mighty Thor was erected in New Asgard. Sif and Valkyrie begin training the children in combat, while Korg's body fully regenerates as he seeks to produce an offspring. Thor starts to raise love as his own daughter, entrusting her with Stormbreaker while he wields Mjolnir into battle. The two begin traveling the galaxy, offering assistance to whomever needs it, becoming known as Love and Thunder. Meanwhile, Zeus begins to recover from his injuries as he sends out his son Hercules to kill Thor. Jane arrives in Valhalla where he is welcomed by Heimdall. Thanks for watching my video. Take care and have a good day ahead.